What is up, YouTube? It's Kudum Below here coming at you with another exciting video. I do have to preface this by saying that this video is intended for entertainment purposes only, so please keep that in mind. What I'm trying to get at is I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. My recommendation is that everybody should go see their doctor at least once a year to do the annual checkup and the physical stuff that the doctor does. Have them do your blood work, your lab work, etc. And listen to your doctor because your doctor knows way more than I would ever want to know or know in my entire lifetime. So definitely trust your doctor's advice and opinions. Okay, so today is day two on my water fast. The summary of the second day of me being on a water fast. And I wanted to kind of give you my experience, share my thoughts on what happened today and all that good stuff. Okay, so usually my body runs warm. I'm not going to say hot, but it usually runs warm. For some reason last night, like around, I'd say about two hours before I went to sleep, uh, I felt just a slight touch bit cold. So let's say if the room is normally 72 degrees, like before and the day before that and the day before that, last night, same thing, was 72 degrees, and I, I just all of a sudden just felt like a little cold. So not a chill, like a chill thing, but like... Is there such a thing as a cold flash? There's hot flashes, but is there a cold? I don't know. Anyways, for about an hour, I felt like that, and then it went away, which is kind of funny. And then I just went to sleep like I normally do. So last night, I definitely could tell that my testosterone production was kicked into overdrive more than usual because around 5 o'clock in the morning, I woke up a little extra hornier than I usually do. Hey, win-win benefit. Can't go wrong with that. So then somewhere around uh, three hours later, I actually woke up, like woke up, woke up in the morning. Something ironic I noticed was that I didn't have like the film on my teeth that I usually do when I wake up. So my teeth actually felt clean. I don't know if that's another effect or good effect of uh, being on a fast, but definitely felt good to wake up and have uh, clean, fresh breath, I guess, so to speak. Regardless, I brushed my teeth anyways, and then I proceeded to have a bowel movement. I'd say it was like 50% the size of a normal bowel movement for me, uh, but definitely regular solid, you know, all the good stuff. Everything was fine. Then I proceeded to weigh myself. Good news, I lost one and a half pounds of overall body weight, which was kind of nice. And then another good thing that happened was that according to the scale, I lost 0.7% body fat. So a little less than 1% body fat. Definitely, again, great news. I noticed that I also gained... 0.8% of muscle mass. I think what that was, was since I helped my buddy reorganize his garage yesterday, I think last night during the fasting cycle, uh, extra growth hormone production basically repaired my muscle tissue. And I think that's what contributed to that 0.8% of muscle mass gain. So definitely win all the way around, loving every minute of it. Okay, so then I had uh, my usual liter of water in the morning with the uh, half a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Then I proceeded to have a liter of water every hour on the hour for the rest of the morning. Urine color was normal, pretty clear, which is great news. I know my uh, kidneys are getting flushed out too, which is great news. But having that, you know, that telltale sign of like clear urine was definitely a good thing too. So somewhere around 12 noon, I had an unexpected bowel movement, <laughs> the liquidy kind, if you know what I mean, totally unexpected, wasn't expecting it at all. But basically, I think it's just my body's way of saying, hey, this is the last of whatever was in my colon from the last meal I ate, which is basically on Saturday. Today's Monday. So it's been, I'd say, about 36 hours after I had my last meal. Regardless of the fact, that stink bomb was pretty <laughs> stinky, uh, to put it to you lightly. I kind of equate that bowel movement smell to something like going to a music festival and being near a porta potty. It was pretty bad. Something uh, that usually doesn't happen or stink that way most of the time anyways. Okay, so rest of the afternoon or whatever, like from 12 to 6 o'clock p.m. was pretty normal. I did feel pretty chill, pretty relaxed, pretty mellow. Like, uh, just wanted to kind of enjoy the universe around me, that kind of a feeling, if that's how you want to explain it. And then all of a sudden, around 6 o'clock, I had, when I had my liter of water at that time, liter of water, basically what happened was, is all of a sudden, I just got like a sudden energy boost. Like, like I think my body was telling me, hey, it's time to get out, get moving, get active, do something. So I took a walk around the block, felt great, felt pretty energetic, all that good stuff. Came back home, took a shower, and then had another liter of water. Uh, and that's where we are right now. So definitely feeling good. Energy level is up. Ironically, this entire day, the whole day, 
have not felt any hunger pains at all, which uh, I was expecting I would get at least one or two. Didn't feel any of that. So good news. I'm not I'm not feeling like I need to eat. I don't have any hunger pains whatsoever. I've been hydrating throughout the day, which is a good thing. Like I said, my my the color of my urine has been normal, which is good news. So anyways, that's basically everything of day two's summary in, in a quick video. Down in the description there, down below, there is a link to my Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash Cooter Malloy product reviews. Make sure you check out that Facebook page. Give me a like on there and a subscribe if you like what you're seeing so I can always bring you more great content. Also, here on YouTube, there is a like button over here. There is a subscribe button over here. Those might be flipped because of the flipping of the phone thing or whatever. You get the idea. But anyways, please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing so I can bring you more great content. Also, one last thing, in the description there down below, there are some links to some pretty cool products, so make sure you check those out. I'm Cooter Malloy, and I will catch you all on the next video.